Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shen's Amazing! Pag-usapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! In today's Shansha Amazing episode, we will be discussing the physical features of Mindanao. We already have videos discussing the physical features of Luzon and Visayas. This time, we will be highlighting the physical features found in Mindanao. Mindanao is the second largest island in the Philippines and has a great variety of landforms including these four main landforms. Makikita natin sa Mindanao ang mga mountain ranges, plateaus, swampy plains, at islands. Let's start with mountain ranges. High and rugged mountain ranges can be found in Mindanao. Halimbawa, the Diwata Mountains which run along the eastern coast, the Central Range which runs through the length of Mindanao and contains Mount Apo, the highest volcanic peak in the Philippines measuring 150 meters high. Isa pang mountain range sa Mindanao are the mountain ranges of Zamboanga Peninsula and Misamis Occidental. Aside from mountain ranges, na-mention din natin na merong plateaus sa Mindanao. Halimbawa dito ay ang Lanao Bukidnon Plateau at ang Teruray Table Land of Cotabato. The Lanao Bukidnon Plateau is a plateau of lava about 600 meters above sea level. Its dominant features include Lake Lanao, which is drained by the Agus River, along which is the famous Maria Cristina Falls. Ang ikatlo sa top 4 most prominent landforms sa Mindanao ay ang Swampy Plains. These large swampy plains include the Agusan Davao Plain between the Diwata Mountains and the Central Range. We can also see swampy plains in the Cotabato Valley which is about 200 kilometers in length and about 80 kilometers in width. Just like the rest of the Philippines, Mindanao is also rich in islands. For example, Siargao is surrounded by small islands. In this picture, we can see Naked Island and Daku Island. Let's have another trivia! Did you know that Mindanao houses the island called Island Born of Fire? Kamigin Island is an island province in the Philippines located in the Bohol Sea about 10 kilometers off the northern coast of Mindanao. It is geographically part of Region 10, the northern Mindanao region, and formerly a part of Misamis Oriental Province. Bakit tinatawag ang Kamigin Island na Island Born of Fire? It is due to its volcanic origin. The island province was formed from a series of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes thousand years ago and created what is now a spectacular destination full of natural wonders and historic sites. Alam niyo ba that there are more volcanoes in Kamigin Island than towns? Merong seven volcanoes and only five towns. Two of these volcanoes are active, Mount Hibok-Hibok, which last erupted in 1952, and a smaller volcano called Mount Vulcan, which erupted in 1871. Before we end this Shansha Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap 
of the things we have discussed about the physical features in Mindanao. In this episode, we talked about Mindanao, the second largest island in the Philippines. We discussed the four major landforms prominent in Mindanao, and we were introduced to the island born of fire. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. We hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!